Welcome to the fourth and final video of the tutorial on the editor for Civilization 3. Now the last thing I wanted to show you in here was the Civilizations tab. This one is probably the most fun to edit because you're editing the civilizations. You can add, which I wouldn't recommend, or you can rename, which I would. Now, in Play the World, you have 24 civilizations. I once made a um, scenario, for instance, where instead of 24 civilizations, I named them after 24 of the states, of the United States. So it was very amusing to see, like, Indiana attack Pennsylvania and Florida invade California and things like that. I think in one game, uh, Massachusetts took over the world, uh, burned down South Carolina, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, let's say we wanted to um, change, make a new country. One that's not on here. Let's say we wanted to make Canada. I know I have viewers in Canada. First thing you would do is change the name of the country, and then go down here. change that. You also want to um, change the name of the leader. Now you're going to have to forgive me because I don't actually know the name of the Canadian Prime Minister which is bad. Something I probably should know. So I'm just going to call him Guy for now. Now how aggressive are the Canadians? I wouldn't say they're very aggressive. Then when you come here choose their cultural group this is basically for the art that you see on on the game. They're American. And also, you change the city's names. Always put the capital on top. So you will just type some of the key Canadian cities' names. And I apologize to any Canadians if I misspell um, any of your cities but you get the idea and you would continue going on until maybe you've typed 30 or so cities and then you type who might be a great leader huh. I'm kinda of shooting myself in the foot with a Canadian ba um, fan base because I'm not I'm afraid I don't know any um, Canadian great leaders so we'll say that Bob is a great Canadian leader and that way when he's generated in the combat, that's what his name will be. And usually civilizations will have two bonuses, but you could have more if you want. But I consider that to be a little bit cheating, so we'll choose two. What do we know about the Canadians? I would probably say industrious and expansionist would be the two traits that I'd give them. And then you can choose what they would build often or never. Now, um, I guess I don't know too much about Canada, so I'll just pick a few things that my gut tells me that Canadians would like. And also, well, the Canadian flag is red and white, so you want to choose a color like red and an alternate color, just in case another civilization already has that color. So, there you go. How to create a nation. Now, with the remaining time, just want to show you what some of these other completed ones look like. Now, I used to have a few good ones, but with all these subsequent computer crashes, I'm afraid they've been lost to time. But, for instance, take a look at this. will load a scenario which somebody has created Europe a huge map of Europe and has put victory locations I'm sorry starting locations where the civilizations really did start at some point like you have one for Denmark here you have one for 
the Netherlands, Belgium, um, France. Up here you have Finland. I know I have a Finnish fan. And England, Wales, Scotland. So, um, I never actually tried playing a game on this just because it's very large and would run very slow, but from what I've seen, it looks like it's a very accurate um, description of the country or the continent. Now, also, if you really want to get to something that somebody's modded the hell out of, go to these. And these are all defaults that you'll find on the program. But this one is a model of the entire Earth, as you can see. And this person, or this team, went out of their way and went to great depths to make it very realistic and set all these cities in place. As you can see, there are resources on the board that are not there um, normally. So, it's a completely different game playing uh, playing this mod, but it's a lot of fun. Very long, though. Also, some people have um, not created a different scenario, but have rather created different art. Like, take a look at that. You can already tell it's kind of different, it's kind of jarring. And take a look at what we have. It's all the same terrain, all the same rules, but it looks different. In my opinion, it's pretty. So if you wanted to play a game that wasn't different, but looked different, you can uh, use one of these scenarios. Now don't ask me how to create these kind of terrain sets, because I really don't know. It's very, very exciting. And you always have a few people who have made Earth-like maps. And often you, it's fun to make scenarios where you start with an Earth map. Now my personal favorite kind of scenario is the colonization set, um, scenario. What you do is you just generate a map and remove all the starting locations by hand and put them on one side of the world. And make sure the two sides of the world are far enough apart you can between them until you have um, navigation. For instance, this wouldn't work because you can simply go across here. Usually you'll have to do some editing to get it to happen. But um, once you do that, the um, installations will be one half the world. They're very tight, very rammed. Then they will expand into the new world once they reach navigation. Here we go. Here's one you could use. What I would do is take the smaller of the two continents, shove all the civilizations onto there, and then when they reach um, the tech of uh, navigation, they will all go to this very large continent over here to settle. Now, um, corruption will be very high, and I would recommend lowering the corruption, but it's very fun. And if I was ever going to play, do a let's play of a scenario, it probably would be a colonization game. Well, that's just about it for my four-part series of the video editor. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you have a better understanding of it, and stay tuned for my Civilization 3 bonus video, in which I go over things in the game I didn't get a chance to during my Let's Play.